All right, developing tonight, we now know the name of a teen killed in a shooting last night at a DeKalb County apartment complex. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. I'm Faith Jesse. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. Earlier today, the principal of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. High School in DeKalb identified the teen as Jalen Rogers. He was just 16 years old, and tonight, DeKalb County police say a 14-year-old is charged with murder. 11 Live's Joe Ripley joining us now live. And Joe, what do police believe led to this deadly shooting? Well, police say this all went down around 730 last night here outside the quarry apartments where it's not too hard to find one of these bullet shell. Well, it was a fight that turned deadly involving teens last night. Crossing guard Curtis Orr waving a stop sign sees countless kids get on and off the school bus outside the quarry apartments in Lithonia. Some of the people raised their kids, but the problem of it is when they turn loose and go to school, they get involved with other kids or won't see Jalen Rogers anymore. DeKalb police say Jalen was shot and killed Wednesday night after a fight involving several teens. He was just 16 years old. A 14 year old was arrested and charged with murder. DeKalb County school officials say Jalen was a student in his second year at MLK High School. A crisis management team visited the school to console students and staff. According to data from the Georgia Violent Death Reporting System, there's been an increase in deadly shootings since 2020. Data from 2021 shows over 70% of violent deaths in DeKalb County were due to a firearm and a majority of gunshot victims were between the ages of 15 and 24. The message that they're taking to solve their problem is not solving their problem at all. Like you're not, y'all not, they're not thinking, you're just reacting. Paulette Smith knows the gut punching grief of gun violence. She lost her own son, Jonathan McWilliams, back in 2021. He was gunned down inside his bedroom in Forest Park at just 22 years old. Smith says she feels for the families involved, the one that lost their son, and the other who must deal with the legal and life consequences. A fight was not worth taking a life. And when they take some, when they take that person's life, they need to know that they're taking their lives too. For Curtis Orr, the solution to gun violence starts with parents looking out more for their kids. I really truly love kids. That's why I took this job to sit back in the security because security is it's, it's just one of those things you, you try to keep peace and you can't. They're gonna carry them anyway. This deadly shooting comes just days after a Lithonia High School student lost their life. They were shot and killed over the weekend. Meantime, the DeKalb County School Superintendent Dr. Devon Horton tells me right now parents need to come together, reflect, unite and take better care of their community to combat gun violence. Joe, thank you so much for that update.